We want to bring in U.S. Coast Guard Rear Admiral Brendan McPherson. He's responsible for the Coast Guard's rescue efforts in Florida. That includes those barrier islands now cut off from the mainland, Sanibel and Captiva among them. Admiral McPherson, uh, we appreciate your being with us this morning. We want to sort of get a, an update as of this hour. How many rescues have you been able to make successfully and how many communities, how many homes are there that you've yet to access at this point? Yeah, good morning, Peter and Kristen. So yesterday was another very busy day for our Coast Guard rescue crews. They were flying throughout that area and helping people get out into the stranded area. You know, since this operation started for us, just hours after the storm made landfall, we've been able to rescue about 325 people and more than 100 pets. Um, the good news is that uh, yesterday we saw fewer cases of people that were in urgent need of medical assistance and really more folks that were just stranded. That is a bright spot there. Rear Admiral McPherson, there are so many people in southwest Florida who don't have power, who can't use their phones right now. So how do you know how to find them? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's that's one of the biggest challenges. So, you know, immediately after the storm, it was seek and find. I mean, we had air, air crews in the air uh, looking for people that were needing assistance, waving them down from rooftops and things like that. Um, the good news is uh, the rescue crews, urban search and rescue crews are now on the ground. Uh, we are having to transport them by boat back and forth to the mainland. Uh, but they're making that that sort of ground assault, if you will. They're moving from house to house to check on people. You know, what's most inspiring to me is we saw, and I was in the area yesterday, was I was seeing neighbors helping neighbors. So you've got neighbors helping elderly neighbors, sharing their food, sharing their water. And I think it's a really good sign for future recovery. Is there any sense of the time frame here, uh, Admiral McPherson, in terms of how long you think it'll take to try to ac access all those areas and get to everybody who needs help? Yeah, I'd say most of the areas have been accessed at least once, right? And so today and the coming days, it'll be that second and third search effort, really. Mm -hmm. So there are crews, thousands of, of first responders, local, state, federal, including the National Guard, including those, fa uh, those famous FEMA urban search and rescue teams that are out there doing that hard work of, of moving through the area. So, you know, it's hard to predict, but uh, I know we're all here until we're satisfied that anybody that needs rescuing, anybody that needs to be removed from an unsafe location and moved to a safe location will be. Rear Admiral Brendan McPherson of the U.S. Coast Guard, we're so grateful for you and for all of your team members. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. Yeah, ha happy to do it. Uh, you know, all the credit goes to the first responders who are out doing this. And then some late breaking, but very good news. The Port of Tampa Bay opened last night, so things are starting to get back to normal. Yeah, that is good news. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for that breaking news. You're welcome. News. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.